Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys and welcome for a new video. So today I wanted to talk to you about my three very favorite Max for Life sequencers. And so there is this first one which is already pretty much known but maybe you don't know is uh, the Maxing Dunks device Snake which is kind of um, an emulation of the uh, Make Noise Runny uh, Eurorack module. And it's a very nice sequencer. You have basically four sequencer with 16 steps and each of the sequencer you can control uh, the note, the gate, the velocity and the custom. So what you want to do first is set up some gate where you want you uh, not to play. And the thing is for now you don't hear nothing but you, because you need to bring the velocity. And you can see that you start to hear. Let me bring the fitter a little bit better. And And you see here I've put a scale um, device because then when you jump into notes, so here you can control each note you want, but the thing is you don't really know which note you're putting. So you can really quickly go out of scale, uh, which is what you are looking for, but maybe sometimes you want to stay in the scale. So here I use the scale uh, device from, from Ableton and I put it in F. And now I can start to change my pitch randomly almost. And one of the things I like, you have as well random buttons. So basically, you can here choose like the scale if you want more like a something in the high frequency and press random. And if you want something more in the bass, you can select here and random. And basically the cool thing is you can as well change the direction of the sequence how it's played so like this is playing forward but you can put backward like in the other way from down to up and fall back and then back four or randomly and you can as well change the speed and obviously you can change the number of steps which is good to make a kind of polymeter rhythm because here the gates are still playing like in the length of 16 because each sequencer got his independent speed and step and and then you can even change the snake the, the snake the, the shape of the snake so basically you can do like some crazy stuff uh, like And yeah, you can really play around with this and really like then get a different kind of So here it's maybe better to have like more
and yeah you can even random everything and and you can as well uh, record as well if you like the sequence and you want to record it just create a new midi track control alt high high and you have like midi from and you choose this one and you put post sfx and you press record and you should have your midi note <laughs> Then you can just put it here, get rid of the sequencer, and just... Yeah, I really love this one. It was my favorite until... Um, it's still one of my favorite, but until the, the last one I, I want to show you in this video. But yeah, you can... I'm still using it sometimes because it's really nice to generate idea. And I'm a big fan of this kind of 16-step sequencer where you have knobs. And you can even map this to uh, a MIDI controller and kind of having your own uh, step sequencer and turn knob so the second sequencer i want to show you it's for all of the fans of acid music is this one aicg and it's again a good plugin to generate kind of random sequence And you can, when you find one interesting, you can press shift and click on this little case and it's save and... But the cool thing is not always to use this and but it's like having a base and then building your own uh, sequence out of this random sequence. So the different parameter you have for which is kind of folding the piano roll, you have zoom, and you have a clip, which is basically generating a mini clip of sequence. And you have generate, which is kind of generating a random pattern. And you have how to set up the output of the click. Then you have uh, this two hour, which is control. So here I'm in pitch mode. So what the arrow is going to do is going to move the MIDI note. So the sequence is still the same. You see the notes are still saying the same. And then if I go to velocity, it's going to change. You see the velocity moving. And you keep the same pattern, but you just like moving the pattern. Same go with the slide. And you see you already got a completely different uh, kind of sequence than, than the original one. So obviously if you like, oh, let me just fold, you can, let me put all. You can shorten the sequence like this, just pick up the. the wrong button but yeah you get the idea and you can so like i said reduce the length of the of the button change the uh, velocity uh which the one there are not like the accent one you can add temporary like it's kind of uh, randomness to the pattern And yeah, I think I show you everything. Yeah, you can control each parameter and dependent, reduce the velocity. Choose to be a... So 
yeah, and again, you can save, shift, and save, and then after you. Have all your sequence. So yeah, really cool, really cool tune, especially if you are in the acid mood and you know it happens sometimes you struggle to find something. Just drop some random ideas and just loop the part you like, tweak a little bit and you can find something original which is obviously no created randomly from that and yeah that's it for this one so next one is my uh, favorite one and so these two are free you can grab them uh i will put the link in the description all right and then the last one uh which is my uh, new favorite is this euclidean sequencer and um, i really love the interface as well you have this kind of for dating and I've used it as well to sequence some percussion I will come back to this later but yeah basically uh, let me put this bring up I'm just gonna deactivate everything and I'm just gonna explain you uh, how does it work so it's a step sequencer as well where you can choose uh, the number of steps so I'm gonna go for 16 just like to explain you how it work like picking up a simple example and uh, basically a clock which is kind of you see it's like it's working as a clock and here like basically you will have your kick here here there and there now let me put the you see and uh, the way it works is like you had a note so here I've had one note here it's called event you can add two three but the particularity of of Euclid and rhythm is like the note uh are uh, distributed equally you see uh, and like evenly but as possible so you see here is 2 and it's a uh, 16 divided by 2 it's fine so it's 8 so they are divided equally but and same with 4 you see like everything is divided equally they are separate from the same amount of note but obviously if you choose a number like 3 it doesn't work you see you have 4 different a step here 4 and then 5 and that's the way Euclidean work. They will always try to uh, separate uh, each note equally. But obviously, sometimes it's creating this kind of extra note here, which is going to be nice for kind of uh, syncopation uh, rhythm. So I will see here it's 16 step sequencer. But for example, if I was choosing 15 and 3 event is fine because I have 15 divided by 3, it's 5. So it's like every 5 you have one note. But obviously, here if this time I choose 4. They are not distributely uh, equally. It's like three, three, three. I mean, not perfectly. It's like three, 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 and then two. And let me go back there. Let's bring like five, let's say. And you can, with the rotation, change the position uh, of the note played. So with the rotation, you can basically change where the note play in your 16 step sequence. And then you have as well uh, this sequencer here where you can basically choose which note is played for each step. So here it's, it's playing the same note, but obviously I can I can play something like this. So I use scale here again, like to make sure I'm staying in the same scale, but it's no mandatory, you can uh, remove it. And the thing is you can change uh, how the sequence is played. So here it's like clockwise, but you can go anti-clockwise. You can go go and back. Oh, let me rethink. So it's gonna go into clockwise and then clockwise this way. Or you have like more like a random. So it's gonna go either in one direction, but maybe it's gonna do just one round and gonna go back in the other. But sometimes it's gonna do two round before to go back in the other direction. See? Up is going back, but here up is going back, but then it's doing one round. Up is going back and doing another round coming back and then again coming back so it's kind of random so I'm gonna leave it like I'm gonna and this is kind of up and down I think like a RPC oh, because you go up and then you go down and anyway let's go back and the thing is you have four different sequencers so obviously what you can do is add another one so I'm gonna just gonna put 16 step uh, just 
at the beginning to make things uh, simple again and you can choose how many event you want so you can let's say uh, speak of four and rotate like this But then after you can reduce the number of steps and uh, which is kind of can start to make things interesting. And like your sequence gonna shift one from another like in a certain way. So obviously here is a lot of of notes, but if you reduce the number of event. And let's add me another one when I'm gonna put maybe 19. And it's kind of creating this. And you. And then you can even add another one and let's say 11 step. Maybe one you can play more like in the in the bass. really get uh, this kind of vibes and it's it's really interesting to experiment and play around and it's got a nice interface as well which is like kind of pushing you to experiment even more so you can yeah really try uh, different kind of thing you don't need to be like over super complicated and use the four and you can just like keep simple and just like So yeah, that's why this one became my uh, favorite sequencer because it's really different than all the other one. And I use it as well as a, it's to kind of generate rhythm a bit like, so I have the same perk, but I've pitched it like a different, uh, different value. And basically what I'm doing is like each sequence is, is playing not And it's kind of sounding like random, but it's, it's not really random, obviously. So yeah, what you can do as well is change the speed. If you feel like things are going Yeah, and you can put uh, 
triplet as well. But yeah, really love this uh, sequencer, obviously. And then obviously you can save uh, your preset and reload them. So that's pretty cool as well. So yeah, that's why I love it, just to create long sequence, like kind of hypnotic, like always kind of having the same melody, but kind of shifting a little bit. And I'm still experimenting a lot and trying different kind of thing. But yeah, I, I really wanted to show you because this is uh, something that can interest a lot of you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it and see you soon, guys. Bye bye.